Hello trainers and welcome to another episode of Sacrum Versus. My name is Professor Sacrum and today I have another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle for you. It takes place in the OU tier this time. I'm rocking a new team, which I haven't shown you before. This is actually a team I made prior to the other ones. Uh, but it's rocking the Lopunny, the Chansey, Keldeo, Resolute, uh, Excadrill, Klefki, and Landorus T. And my opponent, Kevin, is uh, he's got, I'm guessing it's a new the hidden ability um, Samurott, uh, along with the Breloom, um, a Swampert, a Zapdos, an Altaria, and a Jolteon. Um, his team seems to kind of be UU-ish, except for the Breloom, um, but I guess he was just bringing Pokemon that he wanted to play with and that he liked, and I brought Pokemon that I liked. He said, oh you, I got this actually from my live stream as well, so without further ado, let's get this battle started with uh, Kevin. Issuing a challenge, of course, always, they always issue the challenge, as uh, he leads off with his Samurai, and I do decide to lead off with my Lopunny, because I figured that it was probably my best play to just kind of see what I could do. Uh, the normal lead on this set, on this team, is Klefki, but I was afraid of the, um, uh, of the Swamper to come in, so I wanted to do this right away, so I go for the Mega Evolution, get my Mega Lop Honey up, and go for the Fake Out onto the Samurai, as uh, he's able to go for the Aqua Jet. I believe this was in the same turn. I'm not sure what the hidden ability on Samurai is. I'm guessing it's Shell Armor, protecting it from, or something. Um, but I am able to get the Fake Out and return combo, able to knock out the Samurai pretty nicely, as he does go into Zapdos right here. Um, and I don't really want to take anything that the Zapdos has, so I'm gonna just switch out over here and go straight into Nurse, the Chansey. Um, this one actually isn't my own Chansey, this is a Chansey that someone gave me, uh, a friend of mine gave me, so I decided to throw it together and see what I could do with it. As uh, he's gonna completely eat it up because he's specially defense invested and Eevee alike, which is really nice. As he does decide to switch out into uh, Breloom, as I do go for the Toxic, forgetting, or not, forgetting that he had Breloom on his team and I didn't want to Toxic, I was going to Toxic whatever came in, and as soon as I hit it, I was like, oh no, wait, he's got Breloom, he's going to switch into it, have Poison Heal, as he ends up having it, uh, as he's not taking any Toxic damage this turn. As I do decide to switch into Clef Geek, because I wanted to try and cripple this thing as much as possible, um, but I really couldn't, there isn't much I could actually do, aside for set up a layer of spikes, or two, and maybe uh, some screens, because this Clef Key is completely um, defensive without any attacking moves. It has uh, Reflect, Light Screen, Spikes, and uh, uh, Thunder Wave just to really cripple my opponents and to slow things down because of another Pokemon that's on this team. Uh, but he does go into Swampert right here which is really kinda scary for me because I'm just trying to set up right now and this Swampert's Earthquake can do a lot to me. So I end up able to get up a second layer of Spikes, if not third, I actually lost track of how many I was actually doing. Um, this is a battle I took. I uh, had really late at the end of the stream. It was actually the last battle of the stream, and uh, I just decided to go for reflect here, try and weaken the earthquake that's gonna be coming my way, um, and weaken any other potential physical type earthquakes being with the or physical type moves in general. Uh, seeing as the Breloom was on there, and on top of that, he also had the Swampert. As I des decide to go back into Lopunny, as he does withdraw the Swampert, I decided I believe to go for Fake Out. Because I had no reason not to. If he stayed in, he would take. He'd be flinched and take damage. And if he didn't, uh, if he did switch, I'd still be getting free damage off regardless. So uh, he does decide to go into Jolteon and uh, do a Volt Switch right here, which Lopunny surprisingly took, and it was a crit. So that actually uh, that surprised me during the battle. But I could have lived two of them easily. But it's whatever. As he does go into Altaria his Mega, and uh, he can't really do too much to Lopunny because I am able to hit the return straight off of him, um, unfortunately for him. So this Altaria only gets to Mega Evolve this battle and not much else, as it does go down to the second return. So Mega Lopunny's putting in a lot of work right now, which is really nice. I love Mega Lopunny. I think it's actually a really good Mega. Um, as he does decide to go back into Jolt, and... Um, I actually just switch out here because I know I can't take another Volt Switch, and I kind of want to save uh, Lopunny just in case, and I do decide to go into Landorus, predicting that he would go for Volt Switch to try and get a uh, Switch priority, but I guess he might have forgotten that I have a Ground-type on the, on my team. Um, and Landorus is able to get Intimidate off too, which is really nice, 
Um, even though it doesn't really do anything, it just changes any potential things that would happen. But I predicted that he would switch and not want to take an Earthquake, so I did decide to go for Stone Edge and caught the Zapdos, able to Oko it. And uh, yeah, so that was the play of the night in this battle. Um, my friends were even surprised. They were like, you going to go for the Earthquake? I'm like, no, I'm going to go for Stone Edge. So uh, he decides to go back into Breloom here after uh, Zapdos is now down. And I decide to switch out because I don't want to take a potential Spore. Because again, at this point, I didn't know what the other two moves it had were. I knew it had Leech Seed. I knew it had Mach Punch. Um, and I think that was it. It could have had Protect. It could have had Substitute. It could have had Mach. It could have had uh, Ice Punch or something. Maybe even Spore. I had no. I had no clue. I knew it was Toxic Orb, and that was really it. As he was able to get the Leech Seed off of my Lopunia, at this point I was just really kind of using it for fodder. I did fake out because I was fearing the Mach Punch to come up uh, from uh, Breloom just to knock me out. So fake out would guarantee that I'd get some good damage off onto Breloom. Even though it wouldn't really do anything other than just get some damage. But uh, he will be at a point where I can knock him out with, uh, with another Pokemon or two. As I am able to go back into my Landorus. Um, seeing as that he probably doesn't carry Bullet Seed, because that was another reason why I kept switching, because I was afraid that he had Bullet Seed, but he doesn't seem to have it, because he would have probably used it already. As uh, he goes for Mach Punch, and I'm able to go for Earthquake right here, and bring it down a little bit of ways, as he does get a little bit of recovery off with that Poison Heal, um, which made it really kind of a big pain in this in this battle, that I had to take extra turns and extra time to get rid of this Breloom. And there's probably an easier way to do it, but I just didn't think of it at the time of the battle. So uh, I end up going for a second earthquake here as he does go for the Leech Seed, end up ending up able to get more recovery as Landorus is in, um, which isn't going to really matter because he isn't going to be able to go down to... He's in range of another earthquake um, taking him down. So this next earthquake, I believe, right here does take him down to zero, and Breloom is now down. So that's that was really lucky on me. Um, I could have missed even, I don't know, I actually don't know if you can miss Earthquake, but I decided to stay in with Landorus, just because it, I felt like it would be a, my best bet. I can get off an Earthquake, at least dealing some damage, because I knew I had sped, I was Choice Scarfed, um, and I knew I wouldn't be able to knock it out, but I knew I'd be able to do at least some damage, as the Waterfall is going to be able to knock me out, and I'm able to get a free switch into my Keldeo, um, which is what I was kind of trying to do the entire battle. That's the point of this team, is to try and get into a, a free Keldeo switch. Um, especially, um, but because he was so low on Pokemon, I didn't really have the chance to really do what I wanted to do. As I am go for able to go for a late game sweep, setting up my substitute, it's not gonna um, really do anything because you know Keldeo doesn't have very good defenses, so that Waterfall is gonna be able to knock out my sub, um, which really sucked or uh, was really unfortunate. Um, as he does withdraw. Which was a really big misplay on my opponent's part. He, I don't think he had really the chance of winning anyway because I had still some more Pokemon and the way more Pokemon than he had, and both of his were at low health, and I had spikes up. Uh, but I am able to get the Secret Sword off to Jolteon and get a free kill on it, or a free KO on it, I should say. Um, as he's just gonna bring in Swampert and it's gonna go down to spikes. So Keldeo really, this Keldeo has become invincible. I don't think I've ever seen anyone take out this Keldeo before. There was only one person, actually, who took it down, but it was only because uh, I was in a battle with uh, her, and we ended up accidentally having Handicap on, and I only had two Pokemon. She had, like, three. So it kind of wore me out a little bit. But good game, Kevin. It was a lot of fun. And uh, he informed me that that's not his name. How his name is actually spelled. He spelled it E-N because he thinks it sounds cooler and looks cooler. Um, I found him on my live stream as well. So you should check that out at twitch.tv forward slash uh, Professor Sacrum. I stream every Saturday. I'm going to try to anyway, do my best um, as uh, yeah, as best as I can. Uh, thanks to scheduling, I'm able to do so. And um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and this battle. And if you'd like to see more, um, and if you'd like to see your own battles uh please be sure to leave a battle code in the comment section below and if you want to have the chance to battle me as well don't forget to leave your friend code because then we can have a battle and this can go and it can go up uh see if you can take down the professor lol jk because i'm not that great i've just gotten lucky um the past couple times um but yeah that's really all i have for you today um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye